It's only going to be a matter of time until we can fully 3D print humanoid bodies and take over the world with clones. But for now, a Japanese designer has decided to make these really weird 3D masks, which were created from real people's faces, and they will go on sale next year. But aside from that, there are some pretty amazing and incredible 3D printed things out there, so let's begin the top 7 countdown. At number 7, the Eye of Agamotto. When it comes to homemade projects, this one is pretty fascinating. This object resembles the iconic prop from Doctor Strange. It was designed in Fusion 360 and formed through Shapeways. The pieces were then assembled with gear motors, and it's nothing short of incredible. The same critter is also built an 11 foot castle, and a detailed great hall with LED lighting, so make sure to check out its links in my description. At number 6, the Air Claw. There is plenty of frustration that comes along with 3D printing, and sometimes the prints don't exactly come out the way you want them to. Well, now we can finally embrace a common 3D printing error, otherwise known as under extrusion. Jack Foreman has figured out how to put this air to use, and he has created some weird textiles which basically resemble a fine, flexible netting. The material can be used for lots of things including lampshades, decorative laces, and very odd clothing which will undoubtedly be used by some designer in a future fashion show. So I guess it is okay to have a little bit of frustration towards your 3D printer, because it might actually create something new and innovative. Now obviously aesthetics is highly objective, but number 5 is the Mambo Power Boat. The Mambo was printed in several pieces via continuous fiber manufacturing. This involved two large contact high accuracy robots, and they built parts up by strategically depositing and UV curing continuous fibers impregnated with thermal setting resin. So basically they built this thing piece by piece and then put it together, so technically it's not one single 3D print but the company is working on that. The entire boat weighs around 1700 pounds and it's powered by a 115 motor. So it's not the fastest thing on the water, but I'm just glad that it actually floats. At number four, Schwarzites. Named after the infamous German scientist, Hermann Schwartz, these poor structures are interesting from an engineering standpoint, since they have high strength and excellent deformation. So they won't break catastrophically. They are scalable, so you could theoretically build nanostructures with this type of design. 3D printers have allowed us to build these basic structures, but the next step will be to refine the surfaces with higher resolution prints and further minimize the amount of polymer to make the blocks lighter. Once again, I highly recommend to check out my other 3D printing videos about printers which can actually build things at the micro and even nano scale. At number 3, Microfluidics. Researchers at the University of Minnesota are the first to pull off printing microfluidic channels on a curved surface at the micron scale, or about three times the width of a human hair. Now, this is a way easier method when compared to older complex techniques. And in addition to the microchannels, the team has also integrated electronics for sensing capabilities. Now, the possibilities of this technology are endless, and this can range from anything including nanorobotics, medical diagnostics, and even drug delivery. So, it not only looks really neat, but it has a lot of applications as well. At number 2, a 3D printed villa. Now, most of us have probably seen a 3D printed house on the internet somewhere, but this particular building is pretty commendable. The structure had 100% of its walls printed in just two weeks, and it features some pretty unique architecture. The villa is powered by the latest solar panels, and it features a very large open design that is illuminated by natural lighting. It is also worth noting that the building is not entirely 3D printed, and obviously it does have custom finishes, but this type of process could cut down labor costs dramatically and make housing more affordable. Now, if you don't want to live in this structure, it is also worth noting that 3D printing can be used to make structures on the moon or even Mars. So, we could be highly dependent on this type of process for off-world colonization. That's number one, the Firehawk engine. With additive manufacturing, it is absolutely possible to 3D print an entire engine. But now Firehawk has achieved 3D printing a rocket engine and a propellant, so I'm going to definitely have a wish list of several motors from this company. Now, classic hybrid rocket engines use both a solid and liquid propellant, so it's quite a bit safer than a conventional chemical rocket, which can implode everywhere at liftoff. Firehawk has claimed to work out all the kinks and they have dependable HREs with good performance. 
but we'll just have to wait and see until they come out with the numbers. Either way, I hope that they sell smaller versions at the local hobby store, but I doubt that will happen. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.